Welcome to Heat Check. We're going to look at the top 10 highest selling vintage denim items over the last two weeks on eBay. This video is sponsored by WeBuyOldJeans.com. All right, coming in at number 10, we have a Type 2. We have the 507XX engraved 17. That is the stamp apparently on the back of the button. Uh, this is nothing we haven't seen before, uh, but we don't normally see it at number 10. Uh, unfortunately, you can see here there's some damage to the red tab, which I think would definitely uh, damage the value. Looks like all the pleats are mostly intact. That's pretty nice. Uh, let's see if we have anything particularly special about this one. It's really not all that special. Um, let's just take a look. It looks like uh, inside. I want to see the inside. I don't know why it's not showing to me. Um, oh, yeah, and they, they reference look at this one. How crazy. Oh, yeah. Well, okay um, 17 may be more unusual, but it's not necessarily the the biggest deal here in this case uh, Here we have a it looks like they measure from the back uh, Which is not really the best you probably should measure in the front to be honest um, uh, But looks like 40 inches, which is not a bad size to be honest uh, from uh, a 507 perspective uh, We often see uh, much smaller than this um, not too bad. Uh, this one sold for only eleven hundred dollars, so they didn't get the uh, uh, seven thousand they kind of were hoping for. But uh, either way, uh, good sale uh, for the Type Two. All right, so coming in at number nine is a fascinating one, um, slightly confusing. Uh, we have a five hundred one Redline Selvage Denim. There's the red line. Uh, there's a selvage at least uh, pretty dark wash, but look at here. We have a tag on here uh, This was a tag that was used briefly in the mid uh, 1980s 90% probably is my guess of these that are gonna have this tag will not be selvage This is a ton of money to spend on uh, One of these pairs they're like they make a point to say hey this has a Blank circle R uh, tab, which is not really a big deal at all. Um, the size, let's see, they give us a size. Size 36, 32 is a good size. Um, but this pair of jeans probably generally normally goes for like 200 bucks. Um, but this one somehow went for $1,100. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, as far as I can tell, this is a pretty run-of-the-mill. This would have probably been one of the last uh, of the uh, Selvage era uh, Levi's denim jeans. So maybe somebody put a premium on that, that this would have been one of the last uh, Selvage Levi's that were, at, were produced. But uh, pretty unusual uh, sale here for sure. All right, then we have a pair of vintage 501s, big E red lines. Looks like late 60s. Let's take a look. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. These look like a pretty good pair. Uh, all in all, the good color. There's their selvage. Let's see our back patch here. Uh, interesting. Uh, let's see. There's our big E. Uh, six. Uh, yeah. Definitely, there's no V-stitch, so we're definitely looking at late 70s, potentially very early 70s, or 60s, potentially early 70s. Uh, we've seen this, we see this pair sell all the time right around here. This one is sold for $1,200. At number eight, we have the 1950s Montgomery Ward Pioneer Denim Chore Jacket, barn coat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, looks like it's a little bit roughed up. The picture is a little bit uh, blurry, unfortunately. Um, but generally pretty good condition. There's some issues. Here is the Montgomery Ward. Yeah, a lot of out of focus. Focus is an issue on this in this photo. But we have the Montgomery Ward uh, Sanfordized Pioneer jacket. Pretty cool. We don't normally see this. Uh, I don't think it's. I don't think this particular model has made the list before. But look at those buttons. Super cool button. Montgomery Ward. Oh, bring those buttons back. That's a sick button. Um, Obviously, some damage from the 1950s. Um, honestly, I'm actually kind of surprised it went for what it did, uh, considering its condition. And if it truly is from the 50s, which I think it is, it might be a little bit earlier. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't think it is World War II era. Um, it's an early wards pioneer, yeah. Has an early tag. Uh, yeah, either way, the pit to pits, 46, you know, are, you know so that's a pretty good deal. Uh, so, now not bad, but uh, this one did plenty well 
but it went for twelve hundred dollars. Next up, we have a really cool one here. We have the Vintage Lee Riders Denim Rodeo Clown Jeans, size 50 by 22. Obviously, uh, these were meant to be worn with suspenders, um, and they are supposed to be short for your clowns. Uh, but they have the Lee Riders stitch in front. This is fantastic. I uh, doubt anyone will wear these, uh, but uh, these are just a great novelty piece. You see, we have the Lee Rider suspender buttons and the uh, old school Lee Rider Sanfordized tag. Um, yeah, these are great. They're you know 25 or 50 across or 25 across, giving us a 50 total. Uh, these are really cool. Uh, these do not come up that often. Uh, they obviously, I don't know, if, I don't think they were ever mass produced per se. Um, but they look like they're in pretty good condition. Lee Riders right there on the butt. Uh, big old advertising. Uh, looks like a nice leather uh, patch there. Um, I'm guessing these are 60s, maybe 70s on this. Uh, may, it'd probably be early 70s if, if it was. Uh, but I'm guessing 60s here. Let's take a look, see if we get a closer look here. Yeah, I'd guess 60s on these. Um, uh, so brilliant, really cool pair. Definitely a cool one to see on the list. Uh, after 27 bids, it sold for $1,213. Next up, we have another pair of Lee. We don't typically see this much Lee on the list, so that's really cool. We have an, another out of focus image, unfortunately, but this thing looks like these might be dead stock. Um, hard to really tell, but it does not appear like there's anywhere almost whatsoever uh, your mom's favorite shirts sold this um, uh, yeah these look like they're basically dead stock which is pretty incredible and pretty cool and the gripper zipper there so we're, we might be looking at the 60s uh, potentially I'm trying to see yeah probably the 60s uh, maybe a little bit earlier obviously uh, to maybe 50s yeah Hardest, hard to, to entirely say from just this, but we're definitely in that era. Um, but anyway, great pair of jeans right here. We do not, we, we rarely see uh, Lee Riders on this list, so it's really cool to see them. Uh, these sold for twelve thirty-eight, uh, so they took an offer of twelve thirty-eight and did not uh, need to finish the auction. So maybe you couldn't make it to the Durango Vintage Festivus to unload and sell all your vintage denim. Well, we have a recommendation for you, and that is WeBuyOldJeans.com. These guys offer an excellent service, super simple process, and very competitive pricing. Why bother with the middleman with eBay and dealing with fees and scams when you can sell direct to these guys? Check them out, WeBuyOldJeans.com. All right, then we have our first type one denim jacket here. We have, uh, they say these are from the 40s, uh, which would be pretty interesting. Uh, it looks like uh, we have a pretty good pair here, or not, excuse me, pretty good jacket here. Good color. Uh, pleats obviously have damage. Not the worst thing in the world, but um, it's some interesting wear. Let's take a look at this a little closer. Come on, get us a little closer. Uh, beautiful wear along there, obviously a little bit of damage. Uh, let's see anything special about this. There's that uh, uh, the tab should be one-sided. The buckle, it, the buckle back there is busted and removed, which is kind of a bummer. Definitely cuts into the value of this particular uh, jean jacket, unfortunately. Um, so there's sort of a uh, that buckle back is definitely an important thing you want to make sure is still affixed to your um, your uh, jean, uh, denim jackets if you intend to sell. This one sold for $1,600. Next up, we have a 1940s 501 hidden rivet selvage denim. Big E. Wow, 1940s. This, if this is truly 1940s, I think they probably got a good deal on this particular pair. We have a centered up... Uh, uh, we have a centered uh, belt loop. Let's take a look, see what we can see here. Uh, let's get some closer looks. Um, I'm not sure. We definitely have hidden rivets. I'm not sure I would call it 1940s. It looks like they had their name uh, sewed in there. 
the number is okay yeah potentially um what size is this it kind of oh there's two no 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 it looks like there's uh printing on the back side of that tab so i think that would be unlikely to be 40s this would probably be later than that so um Let's take a look at this. It's in the 1940s. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know who, how they figured that one out, but the waist is 28 inches, so this definitely uh, does eat into the the possible uh, resale price of this guy. This one did go for 1650. All right, at number two we have the Boss of the Road overalls dead stock, which is really cool, and it says uh, Bulldog size large so look at this thing it does appear to be dead stock maybe down here it looks maybe a little bit of puckering around the, the ankle hems but uh, probably just a little bit of moisture in the air is all it needed um, to do that it does look like they're in incredible condition I'm not entirely sure how old these are I'd imagine uh, 40s or 50s on this one boss of the road it even has some of the paperwork some of the flashers uh, so that's really cool. Don't normally see all of that stuff included. Uh, so really cool. There's that back. Yeah, the bulldog is this the logo. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful overalls here. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, we haven't had Boss of the Road uh, this high. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so congratulations uh, to uh, Julie Wilde, it looks like. Uh, after 14 bids, this uh, pair of overalls went for $22.75. All right, at number one this week, yes, we have a 507 Type 2 jacket. Uh, we, type 2s often rank high on this list, but it's been a little while since a Type 2 has taken the cake. Um, but this one looks beautiful, lots of great color. The pleats are in excellent condition. Um, not much to complain about on this jacket here. Let's see. Uh, looks like we're, you know, approaching like 3840 on this one. So not a great, great size, but the condition is an obvious winner here for sure. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they took a picture. Maybe they bought all this at one time from somebody and this is the one they're selling. Uh, maybe it's just a comparison for the, the fade because look at the fade is just so dark and rich compared to the other uh, stuff they actually put it on um, a little speck of a defect there so hardly anything at all so um, good photos uh, for the most part here so uh, fantastic type 2 uh, good uh, uh, good good color you just don't see them there's it's not that common to see them in this good of condition so uh, congratulations top vintage for taking the top spot this week on the denim heat check this one sold for two thousand five hundred dollars